Hello and welcome to Unscripted. I am your host, Love Bobby Joe. And as you know, this is the show where it flows. Nobody knows, not even me, because it's Unscripted, just like life. And just like life, this week's meditation moment with nature was very timely. The message being, all storms pass. And the last few days have been literal storms in the area with the humidity and the heat coming through in different fronts. So having some different thunder and lightning and high wind storms. So all storms pass. This applies to literal storms as well as figurative storms in life. So if you think about it, with the literal storms going on here, I had the opportunity to really experience this yesterday with doing all the batten down the hatches, there's this high wind storm coming, bring everything in, put everything away, and then all of a sudden my mind kicking in and thinking, oh my goodness, is there gonna be a tornado? What if there's a tornado? What do I need to move? Where? What do I need to do? All these different things. And then coming back to the present moment and realizing, okay, I brought everything in that I could. I know where to go. Everything's okay. So how often in life, if you think about the storms you may have experienced or gone through, does your mind start to play the forecaster? kind of like this one, starting to go, what if? What if this happens? What if that happens? And making this mind forecast of this storm of epic proportion. And it just starts creating more stress and more anxiety and just really throwing you off balance because you are forecasting this storm that hasn't come through yet, but your mind is telling you it's gonna be just severe and damaging and all of these different things. And how often in those moments does the storm come and it's not what you expected? Our storm yesterday that I did so much preparation for, it disintegrated or whatever before it came by us. So it ended up being no big deal. So with this week's meditation moment with nature, I invite you to pause whenever you catch yourself in a place, whether it's your personal life or something in your business or even a real life actual storm, to pause and reflect upon what is true in this moment and then know that you can put different things into place. Like for me yesterday with a real storm, you know, moving the plants in, taking the chimes down, different things that I can do for personal life or business life, like feeling within, like what systems can I put in place? If this storm that I see maybe brewing and coming happens, what kind of support do I have? What can I do in this present moment to take action? And being very mindful that your mind isn't going to a place of playing extreme forecaster and making it more severe than it is. Really being mindful to be present in this very moment because all storms pass and sometimes they don't even become the storm that we think it's going to be. Sometimes we think it's gonna be a big storm and it's a couple of sprinkles. And then the storm passes and the sun returns and sometimes it's even accompanied by a beautiful rainbow. And yes, sometimes storms are light and sometimes they are severe. But the thing is, is really paying attention to what is true in this moment. What can we do to prepare? And then allowing ourselves to stay in that present moment and not making them more severe than they need to be. So again, I invite you to pause anywhere you are, whatever that storm feels like. And if you are in the eye of a storm right now, I pray that you find some hope in knowing that all storms pass and reaching out for any support that you need. And if you're in that story of the storm and creating this like, ah, <laughs> huge storm to invite yourself to come back to the present moment. So sending you lots and lots of love, lots of peace and comfort in all storms pass and wishing you so much, so much beautiful skies and rainbows and sunshine 
and also all of the support you need during those storms. So lots and lots of love. Don't make them more severe than they need to be. And if you'd like to keep this conversation going and flowing and stay connected, I invite you to head on over to lovebobbyjoe.com to subscribe and receive inspiration straight to your inbox. Wishing you a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you.